welcome to Newsmakers. I'm your host, Nancy Lewis. We're going to be talking today about a variety of things going on in the Kansas Senate. We're here today with Kansas Senator Julia Lynn, and we're at Johnson County Community College, and we appreciate them being letting us be here today. So, so let's talk about this session coming up. It's you know, the, the, with the budget shortfall and some other issues, you, you guys are going to have a lot to tackle, right? We are. And I am one of those kind of people that always go in with an optimistic point of view. There aren't that many of you. <laughs> well, you know, we, we have done a lot of good in this state to turn the ship around from where we started. Um, I'll just say back in 2010. Mm -hmm. So have we learned some lessons? Yes. Um, have we made some mistakes? Yes. Um, are we going to move forward with um, methodical and politically balanced solutions? Yes. And I think uh, there's really a lot of opportunity in what we're facing. We have made very difficult decisions um, regarding tax policy because what we want to do is create an economic environment in this state that is conducive to business. One of the things that my constituents say to me all the time on the ground is, my kids have gone to school here, we raised our kids here, and now they're moving away to find a job out of state. That's got to change. So, so there's this shortfall, mm -hmm. this, uh, mm -hmm. $280 million. Mm -hmm. um, And there, there are going to be a lot of different people that have a lot of different answers for how to solve that. And how, how do you come together on that? Well, it's, it's obviously partly the process, mm -hmm. what we have to go through to get to a final solution. I think a lot of it, for me, is how you approach individuals and how you approach the special interests and how to balance what's best for your district against a special interest. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I believe that it's best to operate at the lowest level on the ground. So when I'm talking to my constituents or business leaders, they can give me insight uh, that is probably in a lot of ways more useful than, um, than maybe insights mm -hmm. from special interest groups. So what are they saying? My people say we're on the right track. They like the fact that taxes are lower. Um, they understand that we have done some heavy lifting with education, that we need to put more money into the classroom, which we have done. The fact that we have given property tax relief um, to our local districts. Um, in fact, I was just in DeSoto the other day and, and they mentioned how they, much they appre appreciated that because their LOB, they were able to raise that and they got more local control over their decisions. I think that's the direction we need to keep moving in. You know, the state um, definitely has a budget, budget problem. Nobody's gonna dispute that. We will get out of that. And the tax cuts that we've made over the past couple of years need some time to mature. And when you look at different states throughout the nation, those that have lower taxes are the ones that are gonna weather the storm. So I believe we're on the right track. And we've got to stay close to our constituents and close to the business owners, to the people that are really dealing with the day-to-day -day because what we do affects them. And I understand there's special interest groups. Are they helpful? Yes, but it all happens on the ground and we've got to stay close to them. Well, good luck this session. Good luck with all of this. And I appreciate Thank you. you being here. Thank you. And appreciate you being here. Hope to see you next time on Newsmakers.